It looks dangerous, hanging precariously from a bucket lift, reaching out to cut limbs with a chainsaw, and all with cars going by underneath. But it's all in a day's work for arborist Jeff Preston. Uh, we're taking care of uh, the large deadwood, anything that could hurt somebody when they walk by. Getting rid of the dead limbs and fertilizing around the roots should help the old oak survive for many more years. And that's important because this tree has a unique legacy. History has it that the last legal hanging execution was on this tree in 1909. The tree is of such legend that some local folks wanted to take part of it to display at home. Because of its history, that's the hanging tree. Well, not so fast, says CCU historian Ben Burroughs. I do not believe that anyone was ever hung on that tree. Burroughs says he's been trying for years to tell people in Conway there is no historical documentation of any hanging from this tree. Executions would have been done in the old county jail, he says, or on a gallows in a popular gathering place outside of town, not right on Main Street. I do not think that they would have hung somebody within 20 feet of a, a tavern or a merchandise type building, a mercantile building. The town's arborist says it's a beautiful tree, stressed out by its concrete surroundings and heavy traffic. So hanging history or not, it's a landmark that deserves to be saved. It's your sight when you come over the bridge, you know you're in Conway.